to my channel. Um, first, I would like to apologize to all of you because I'm sure all of you are equally affected by this virus as I am, which means you've probably lost gigs and income and it sucks. There's no, it's, an, it's necessary, but it sucks. And I want to help you guys as much as I can. Um, if Just let me know what could help you, whether me making extra tutorials for you during this time or talking business with you um, to get you through, like to start you back up once everything, help you get started back up once everything goes back to normal or whatever will help you, let me know because I want to be there for you too. Now, today's tutorial though, a, fr a friend asked me to do um, an old tutorial that I had made that was a little harder to learn from because my older style wasn't overly great. So I'm redoing it now. If there's any of the older ones that you'd like me to redo, just let me know and I'd be happy to do that for you as well. So we're going to do Peppa Pig. I'm going to do the old version that I did in the older video, but then I'm going to do another version it uses less balloons, it's a little bit quicker, just so that you have a variety. So, for the first version, it uses three 260s and a heart. The two six, it uses two red ones, and this one can have quite a bit of tail at the end. I've got about eight. It doesn't really matter too much because we're not going to use a whole balloon. So, to start with the reds, with two reds, I like to do two pinch twists. So one pinch twist on this side, and then a pinch twist on the other side. And then I use these just to wrap them together. So I just twist one under, and you turn the other one over, and then I just twist around like this, and we'll stay together. Now, I'm going to do a bubble on either side. And then for the first bubble, just like a little one finger bubble. And then we're going to do a one finger bubble and a four finger bubble. And we're going to take this over and attach it to that other one finger bubble there. Then we're going to, on the other balloon, we're going to do a four finger bubble. And we're going to bring it all the way over and then push it through the first four finger bubble. So they sit nice and tight together like this. Then we're going to do the exact same thing. One finger bubble, one finger bubble. Only for the bigger bubble, we're going to do eight fingers. Bring that over to the first, to the other one finger bubble. And then with the longer balloon, we're going to do another eight finger, or I guess seven finger bubbles. There's seven finger bubbles. And then pull this across. And what I'm doing here, just so you can see the other side, I'm lifting this and pushing this through and pulling the first thumb finger bubble across. Just like that. This makes a nice weave. And then we're going to do it one more time just to get that triangle dress on. And instead of a seven finger bubble, we're going to go two ten finger bubbles. So, do one finger, like one hand grabs, two hand grabs, two fingers, and ten fingers. Pull it across. Pull the first bubble down. Push that through. And then we have a triangle. Now, for here, we want to do two pinch twists just to hold everything together. One. Two. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Two pinch twists. One. Two. And then we can get rid of the rest here. And just tie that off and get the, rid of the rest here. And then we 
should have a cute little tangle. Second one is we're gonna, well I guess third balloon, we're gonna need a pink 260. Now I have about five fingers on the end of this tail here. Now I'm gonna start this, so we're gonna do a little hand. I like to just do two little pinch twists for a hand, and then we're gonna do a four finger bubble for her arm. Now we're gonna take this, and at the top of our triangle, where those two pinch twists are, we're gonna attach, that's where we're going to attach the arm. Now, we're gonna take this, this part's a little bit tricky. It's, once you do it once, it's, the first time is the hardest time, but then after that, it's easier. It's also, I'm going to do it slow, so it's going to look more difficult. If the faster you do it, the easier it is. So, we're going to pull those top pinch twists aside, and then we're going to see those first, that two length, that first length of those two from the um, weave we did, the flat weave. So we're going to open those up, and we're going to push this balloon in there. And then we're going to have it go all the way down between the two, between the weight, all the way down. And then you can, I like to grab it from here and then just pull it through. It's a lot easier and it'll move slower if you do it a little bit faster. It'll move, yeah, it'll move through smoother. Okay, so once you have it all the way through, we want to push our hand all the way up to the dress and do a four finger bubble. And then we can do a little flower petal, but three fingers. And then another flower petal, but three fingers. And then those are going to be her little feet. And then we're going to take this and we're going to push it back up to clean those again. All the way up that flat piece. And then we're going to blow up the top. So like this. This way it doesn't get the full heart, it gets like sort of a curve at the bottom. And that's what we want. So we want to tie it as close to the top as we can. Just like that. Now we're going to take this and we're going to attach it into those two pinch twists at the top. So just take that and wrap it around. Now what will happen is you'll have this, and now it's just the artwork. Oh. So I start with pink, and so I'm not going to do an eye on each, like I'm going to do both the eyes on this side, so that's sort of how kids see them, so see her, so that's how we're going to do it. But first we're going to do the nose. So you draw a giant oval and you want it leaning more towards the front so that it's visible like this. And then we're going to do two little ovals inside. 
just like that. And then at the other side of the top of the heart, we're going to do two upside down U's and that's going to be her ears. And then she has a big pink smile and a big round cheek. Or you could do the smile of black too. It's just like that. And then for the eyes, we're gonna do like one circle, two circles, more ovals, I guess, long ones, and then two ovals, just like that. And that's it. And then you have a cup of pink. <laughs> and she's super, super cute. And kids love her go. So I hope you like this one. This is the old one, and I will show you how to make the other one here. Now the other one only uses two balloons, like sorry, two balloons in the heart. So two two sixties. So I start with two pinch twists on the red. Oh, sorry, we have about four fingers on the end too. So two pinch twists, and then we do about a four finger bubble. Bring it back up with another four finger bubble. And then we're going to do about six finger bubble. So you just want it a little bit longer than the four finger bubble. We're going to take this and just like with the other one, only with just the two, we're going to pull it through those two. You want to pull it through until you have it this shape. This will be end up being about three fingers. So you want three fingers on this side. And then you want to do another six finger bubble. So you're going to do a three finger bubble and then a six finger bubble and then bring this back up. So now we have the triangle shape this way and we can get rid of the rest of it. Now the reason we have this going through is because we want this twist here at the bottom. That's going to be very useful to us in a minute. Now we're going to do uh, the pink. And I also have it five fingers on the end here. We're going to do the hands again. So we need two pinch twists. Four finger bubble. And then wrap that into those two pinch twists. And then four finger bubble. And then two pinch twists. And then we're going to break the rest of this off. Now we're not going to need much here left. So that. You want it to be about eight fingers left. So we're going to take this edge and then remember that twist there, we're just going to wrap it in there. We're going to take the other side and do the same thing, wrap it into that twist. We're going to take this, find the middle, and then just twist it. Which point we can pull the dress down, making it tight so we look like this now. So make sure you pull this tri the inside triangle down so that that makes the legs tighter for you so they're not going to go anywhere. Now we just need the heart. The first one I made. I'm going to twist that in to those two pinch twists at the top. So twist that right into those two pinch twists. And 
then you just need the artwork. And she's done. So these are the two Peppa Pigs. I hope you like them and I hope they help you in for your future events. And I hope a lot of you have savings or are going to get financial help for this because it's going to be a while I think. <laughs> and again, I really want to hear from you and if please let me know if there's anything I can do to help you because I would like to. But thanks for watching today guys.